I love this one. Whatever you think about put you in an environment that will make you experience what you are constantly thinking about. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 says, Be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. In other words, what you think about shape the experience you are going to receive. So you want to change what is happening to you right now? Start by changing your thought. The same proverb said, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Proverb 23, verse 7. Now, your thought play prominent role in your life. When you hold a thought for too long, that thought becomes your experience. So, if you are the type that asks, why is it that people want to cheat me? That is because your thought is being produced in your words. For you to even think that people want to cheat you, maybe by your past experience you are thinking that way, but it's actually as a result of the accumulation of the thought in your heart. He said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it. So, you are experiencing what you are experiencing today because of the overflow of the thought that you've had in your heart for a long time. You need to watch what you think about. Your thoughts are formed by reason of your eye gate, what you see, by the reason of your ear gate, what you hear. And these culminate your thought, your eye gate and your ear gate. And the third one is your experience gate. That's what I call it. So if you've experienced heartbreak, heartbreak like three times, there is tendency for you to be thinking about heartbreak or being afraid of heartbreak because you've experienced it twice. You know, that is the job of the devil. He's going to come to you and tell you, oh, your heart was broken 1914 and your heart was broken 1934. So therefore, expect it again. Now, it is your responsibility to kick out such thoughts. So, if you ask me why is it that people always cheat you or people want to cheat you, I will tell you that it is your thought that is calling for the cheaters. Because your thought creates an environment that brings about your experience. If you want to change your experience, by all means change your thoughts and your experience will follow. This is the short message today. Change what you think about. Change your environment, and your experience follow. Now, most of us are fixated with the social media right now. And the social media is so dense with negativity that all you think about is negativity. Now, by reason of social media, a lot of divorces are in the process of right now because of the fake stuff that you are loaded with. So, if you want to change that environment, you need to change your thought because when you change your thought, your environment will change and when your environment change, your experience will change. Follow the scripture. Your life is shaped by your thought. So watch your thought. He actually said in King James, he said, guard your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. So if I were you, I'll guard what I hear and what I see so that I will have better experience and let my better experience create an environment that will bring me more and more better experiences. Thank you. I see you next week.